Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are checking out the best axes, not only in vanilla Terraria, but also in modded Terraria. I have a good bit of mods here today, and uh, we're gonna check out, you know, what's the best axe in those set of mods, and of course, the vanilla Terraria axes. We're gonna see which one is the best. Now, I learned a couple things when searching up information for this video, and I learned that a tree, a regular tree, okay? You know, a tree like this, it doesn't matter what tree, but a tree has 500 hundred percent hit points what does that mean i don't know maybe that's its health it takes to cut it down but a cactus has 170 points now if you don't know the only thing that terraria axes do is cut down trees cactuses and mushroom trees now it's very sad that you know i feel like axes are falling into the point of obscurity in terraria because that's literally all they do yet you know i feel inclined that you know unless you're carrying a ham axe or a pixar or something like that you're inclined to have to carry an axe around to cut down trees because cutting down trees into area is a pretty big important part of it so i feel like hopefully you know with the upcoming updates that axes get more than just we chop down trees like for example how come axes aren't used to you know cut wood they're not used to cut wood this is a ham axe so obviously it's gonna move everything around but they're not used to cut wood instead the pickaxe ever since what was it the 1.2 or 1.3 update pickaxes have become the the tool you use for literally everything but cutting trees the thing is you know you look at like a pick saw in here like boom this cuts down trees and it mines same thing with the pickaxe axe so it's like axes are falling into the point of obscurity and they need to do something about it to keep it relevant you know keep it useful and not just like an item you use every now and then because it seems like a waste of space another thing with the axes that i looked up or looked into a little bit not really looked into but i figured out while looking at the wiki was axes have axe power so let's look here axes have axe power as you can see 150 percent axe power and they also have mining speed now on the wiki it shows their mining speed not here it doesn't really show their mining speed but they have a power and they have a speed now i have no idea how each one works because you know usually for pickaxes the higher the power you know the higher tier of ore you can mine but how does it work for axes like all the trees are the same you don't need a different axe for any of these trees you can use a copper axe you can use you know the solar flare ham axe and they'll all chop down no matter what there's no like oh you need a higher tier axe to chop down a boreal wood tree and i feel like maybe that was a feature that they were gonna do and they just never did it but i don't know you guys you guys let me know on that one in the comments but let's go ahead let's hop into this finally i picked a certain amount of axes and things that just chop down trees in general notice that i don't have any saws any saws any automated saws because you know, we're gonna do a future video on that this is a cool bit of saws from a certain some set of mods but yeah let's go ahead let's check it out we're gonna take of course the copper axe because till this day on that terraria best pickaxe video i still get comments of people telling me that i missed the copper pickaxe which doesn't really apply to you know the best pickaxe but you know whatever it's all good let's get everything here i don't really have them in that specific of an order i think i have them in the order of how you like obtain them through progression but uh yeah let's go ahead let's put it to the test here now the real question is how exactly are we gonna test this should i chop down every tree i don't think chop down every tree matters at all so let's just let's just see all right we're just gonna i don't know maybe count the hits if possible so let's count it all right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen all right that was extremely hard to count i don't know if you could tell but uh that, that was around what 15 hits so if you play terraria you would know that some axes are actually melee weapons or you know obviously they're all melee weapons but some of them specifically could be used for melee weapons so that's why some of them are not that good slash some of them are not included here because they're not that good but yeah let's go ahead let's test this one out i don't think i'm gonna count the hits anymore but that was obviously way faster that was extremely fast moving on to the ham axe which is one of my favorites both of the ham axes are actually my favorite i love them so much that i completely forget to get them every single playthrough okay maybe not every single playthrough but you know i just you know i forget sometimes but moving on to the molten ham axe this one is pretty fast and it's got nice little particle effects, which is always nice. Now we're moving on to our first pickaxe slash axe combo. There's a good bit of them, especially once you make it to hard mode, you know, this is where the axes start to push into obscurity because most pickaxes from this point in hard mode, they start becoming pickaxes and axes, which pretty much pushes axes out of the picture. So let's go ahead. I know this one's really fast. This is, we're, start, we're starting to get to like some really fast speeds here. The axe, probably one of the coolest looking axes and probably one of the fastest, I think. Yeah, look at that. That was, that was extremely quick. Moving on to another pickaxe axe combo, the pick saw. Oh my God beautiful moving on to digging claws which uh apparently cuts down trees i never knew they cut down trees i thought they were just primarily for mining but the more you know right look at that that was that was pretty quick 
yeah that's that's pretty quick moving on to the specter ham axe which allows me oh this has a minus one rage and this one has a plus three this allows me to like stand over here okay i lied plus three range isn't exactly the biggest but that was pretty quick it was pretty quick you know just a good couple taps to the bottom of the stump and then obviously last but not least for vanilla the flare solar flare hammocks and all the other luminite hammocks now i got a lot of comments where people are like the solar flare pickaxe is one of the best pickaxes it's like no all of the pickaxes made out of luminite are exactly the same i don't know placebo effect maybe because it looks stronger people are like it's the strongest pickaxe no they're all the same look it up on the wiki unless you're playing mobile i don't know maybe it's different for mobile and stuff but yeah this probably the fastest axe in vanilla i don't know these two seem like they can like rival next to each other and this one makes cool noises too like come on we can't we can't ignore that that one does not make cool noises i don't know man see this is the thing that's weird like it's really hard to tell which axe is the best all right so now we're moving on to a set of modded axes i chose the spirit mod and the, the thorium mod for this set and obviously i have a bunch in this chest too but we're gonna test out these 10 right here i think it is so we got five from the spirit mod and then we got five from thorium now i just chose out you know some of the highest powers and some of the lowest powers and some of the powers that are in between this is obviously not every single axe i forgot to plant the trees so if you guys are wondering how i'm planting and growing the tree so quickly i'm actually using this fertilizer item from thorium is very useful uh you get it from a certain npc look up the druid npc from thorium because that is the npc that sells the fertilizer and also this beautiful cherry blossom tree is from thorium all right let's go ahead and put the bismite hammocks to the test from the spirit mod probably one of the earliest hammocks you can get if you have the spirit mod installed but that thing, that thing took a good minute. Moving on straight into hard mode, I believe. We're using the Gore Hamax. Another Hamax. You know, I'm really down for Hamaxes. They're really cool. So, you know, more of these would be nice. More Paxels. Paxels have always been one of my favorite things in, like, Minecraft mods. There's a couple of, like, technical Minecraft mods that would have Paxels. But, bro, this Talon Axe is kind of fast. Low key. Why's my voice getting so high? <laughs> Low key? But yeah, moving on to the last one from the spirit mod, the Hamax. The spirit Hamax. And this thing, three taps, and they're out of here. Beautiful. It's not exactly the fastest, but it is pretty strong. See, here's the thing that I was talking about. What's the difference between power and speed for axes? Like this one, no, it has high power, but low speed because it just takes three taps to break it. But, you know, compare it to something else like this. this doesn't this have higher speed? Like, look at that. You hear way more hits than you would from this. This You hear three hits here. Do, 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 gone. This one here, do, 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 gone. So we are moving on to the thorium set of axes. I grabbed, obviously, the highest I could, which is surprisingly the Valadium axe. Kind of upsetting that's the highest one. I thought there was a terrarium one, but I guess not. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's start with the icy axe. This one you can get very early. So I do not expect this to do or be that fast at all. Yep. Now this one, the sandstone axe, has this little thing called wind burst. A lot of the sandstone tools have this. And uh, let's see if it comes into effect here. I, I doubt it will because it has a chance. Come on. There we go. You saw that for a, literally a split second. We got the wind burst, which increases our tool speed. Wow, so useful. Moving on here to the bronze packs. Hell yeah, Paxes, Paxes slash Paxels are amazing. They're cool as hell. That's just my opinion. That's that's all I got to say about them. But the Blood Ham Max, that one's kind of quick. And then last but not least, the Valadium Max. This one does not feel as quick as the, the Blood one. What the hell? Hold up, did I do the numbers wrong here? 90% Axe power, maybe because this one's very fast. It says the Valadium one is very fast too. I don't know. I can't tell. Some of these trees that I'm planting are kind of upsetting. Imagine being a tree sapling and your whole point in life is to grow and become this big, strong tree. And then you turn out to be this or you turn out to be this. It's like, what the hell is that? All right. So we're moving in to the big boys. Now we have the calamity mod at the bottom here. And then we got a bunch of other mods just combined right here from a bunch of mods I have installed currently. So let's go ahead. Let's put these to the test. Starting with this one right here, the enhanced silicon axe from rebs mod now let's test this out it says whispers chop when you hold it up to your ear must think you're an assistant robot i'm not hearing the chop come on bro that's supposed to be the coolest thing about it is it whispers chop it's not whispering nothing moving on to the lumber jacks i don't know why i spelled jacks the formal weapon of a true axe wielding hero hit enemies may drop wood when killed that sounds kind of cool <laughs> let's put it to the test though oh it's kind of slow it's slow but strong 
that's four hits and then it breaks it but it just feels really slow there we go again with like power versus speed so it says that hit enemies may drop wood when killed let's go ahead we're gonna hit this enemy once if i hit him once with this and then you know hit him with like a stronger weapon does that, does that count wow these axes do zero damage towards the slime what about then Oh, yeah, look, he dropped 15 wood. So that, that's pretty cool. Moving on here to the Perium Axe from Elemental Unleash. Let's go ahead. I, I have high hopes for this. You know, the Perium Pickaxe was really good during the Pickaxe video. I have a lot of hopes for the Perium Axe. It's pretty fast. Pretty fast and pretty strong at the same time which is a good combo. Moving on to the last axe slash pickaxe, a part of these random set of axes, and that is the Knight Pick Axe, which has 850% axe power, and it is very fast. So what do you guys think is about to happen right here? I'm assuming one hit, that's it. Oh my God, I was right. One hit, that's it. Get them out of here, boom. This is the type of axe that I want late game. I don't want to be swinging my axe more than once. You know, if I'm in post moon lord and I got to swing my axe more than once, the axe has failed me at that point. It is now the time everyone has been waiting for, and that is the calamity set of axes. Some of the best axes in Moditoria, because these things, these things are some, not only things of beauty in how they look, but these things are beauties in the way they chop. Starting with the OG Feller of Evergreens. Now this thing has definitely had some sprite changes. I can't even tell what it is if I'm being Honest. but this thing you no know, this was the axe back in the day back in early calamity you know when they added this axe this thing was beautiful you know it may not be the strongest anymore but back in the day you know it just gives me memories and also this axe pretty much upgrades into a bunch of these axes so you kind of still need it either way moving on to the axe of purity which i probably should show off the axe power i don't think the axe power matters that much if i'm being honest this also cleanses evil if you didn't know it is this even an actual axe It, it has axe power, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually, oh, look, there you go. I cleansed evil. Can, can I chop down the, the newly cleansed evil? I, I guess not. Moving on to the infernal cutter, which generates a number of small sparks when swung. Critical hits with the blade cause small explosions. Like I said earlier that some of these axes are used for melee combat slash combat. Cause I don't know, maybe one of these are just ranged out of nowhere, but let's go ahead. Let's cut this down. I don't think that trees will explode or light on fire. Sadly, even though this shoots out sparks and explodes, but uh, you know, let's go ahead. Let's put it to the test against the enemy. Cause I know you guys want to see it anyway. I know you want to see it. I kind of want to see it. Okay, lights them on fire. We can see that. Explode? No, no explosion. I, I want to see the explosion. Oh, there we go. I heard it. I, I couldn't really see it if I'm being honest. Moving on to the next axe, the Astral Ham Axe, which is pretty damn strong. I don't remember this axe. Well, actually, maybe it has a new sprite. That's the thing. Like a lot of calamity things always get resprited. So I never know what what's what. So let's let's pretend that this is new. You can stand pretty far away with it. Plus three range is always good. You know, it's better than the mining potion because the mining potion only gives you plus one range. But yeah, it's pretty quick. Good combination of speed and strength. And moving on to the next one, the Chaos Warped Slash Axe. Now this, it just sounds cool. It doesn't look the coolest, but it just sounds cool. Chaos Warped Slash Axe, that sounds awesome. Does this have range? No, there's no range, but it does have 200% axe power. It has the power, it doesn't have the speed. Three taps though and it's gone. It's very interesting that some of these take that approach where it goes from speed and then goes to just strength. Last but not least, the Grax. One of the final axes you can get in Calamity. 250% axe power, fast speed, and also hitting an enemy will greatly boost your defense and melee stats for a short time, which is kind of nice if you're playing a melee character. But let's go ahead and put it to the test. Now this one, I have the highest hopes for. This is one of the coolest looking axes. Let's do it. Oh, beautiful so quick so smooth maybe not as fast as the uh knight pickaxe but uh it's it's pretty fast it is pretty fast and you know that's all that matters in the end is just a nice oh damn it, it takes more than one click all right it takes like 0.5 seconds of a click to hold it down you know for 0.5 seconds okay see i keep i keep on clicking it and not holding it down but yeah this is what i expected from the higher up axes from calamity is this and not the not the the slow chaos warp slash axe i expected this gone 
gone beautiful it's so beautiful that i gotta put it to one more test here we're gonna chop down some mushroom trees and we're gonna chop down some cactus Cac cacti not cactus cacti but look at this i don't i don't think this has any effect like i think like i said earlier i think everything chops down either the same or faster and obviously you don't need a certain pickaxe to chop down mushroom trees you can chop it down with a copper pickaxe same thing with cacti so let's go ahead let's put it to the test against cacti and uh this i expect to break literally in one tap yeah, I'm clicking only once because as I said earlier at the beginning of the video, cactuses have 170% health, something like that. Uh, I don't know how much the, the mushroom trees have because it didn't really say it on the wiki, but it listed that trees have 500%, cactuses have, or cacti have 170%. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly, you know, scroll my mouse over a bunch of the axes just to show all the powers and stuff. You guys can pause the video and, you know, check them out. But yeah, other than that, we have seen some of the strongest axes in not only vanilla terraria, but modded terraria and some of them have cool features every now and then but like i said hopefully mods or at least just you know terraria 1.4 adds in some more stuff for axes to do same thing with drills and jackhammers saws even like i feel like a lot of tools in terraria you know fall into obscurity outside of just pickaxes and i guess hammers uh, hammers you kind of use a little bit but even then not really the only time you're really you know required to use a hammer is to break orbs and to break altars but other than that like hammers they, they just make slopes <laughs> that's about it but yeah I, I feel like a lot of tools should be buffed a little bit more so that they have more uses in the future and they don't just fall into obscurity oh this shit trying to spread y'all see this you no know, to get rid of this stuff spreading you know let's take the axe that can't actually cut down trees but it purifies the land so you know might, might as well use this to purify everything but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video my bad for not posting for a while uh i don't know how many videos i'm gonna post this week because if you don't know already i'm going to disneyland on the 18th to like the 23rd or 22nd so that means obviously i'm gonna be gone four or five days and i need to start getting videos ready for those four or five days i'm probably gonna post at least three four videos uh there's obviously gonna be no live streams but yeah we'll, we'll see what happens how many videos we post this upcoming week and stuff because if you guys don't know game raiders week when i do game raiders week that really like takes a lot of energy out of me like i don't know that's why i don't really like doing game raiders week and that's why i try and spread them out so far but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video check out my second youtube channel vod raiders 101 that will be in the description or be in the comment section somewhere i'll leave a link to it there and uh, check that out because that's where i post all my twitch live streams and terraria you know full playthrough live streams up there but yeah i'll see y'all next time i love you guys